Moving on, accompanying the president are more than 200 corporate leaders from Korea, including some big names like Samsung, SK, and Hyundai. Adding on to the already strong business ties with Vietnam, eyes are on how this trip would yield progress. Our Lee Dae-hun explains what to expect. A business delegation comprised of 205 members accompanied President Yoon on his state visit to Vietnam that began Thursday, the largest yet under the current administration. They included Samsung Executive Chairman Lee Dae-yong, Chairman and CEO of SK Group Chet Tae-won, and Hyundai Motor Group Chairman Jung Hee-san. Now all eyes are on any investment opportunities the delegation will bring as strengthening bilateral supply chain ties, cooperating in next-generation technology such as ICT, and participating in green energy projects are just some of the areas being considered. One company that's currently most actively operating in Vietnam is Samsung. The tech giant established construction and trading corporation offices in Hanoi in 1989, and since then it has gone on to produce smartphones, network equipment, TVs and batteries in many cities and provinces in Vietnam. In fact, more than 50 percent of Samsung's smartphones are now manufactured in the country. SK Group 2 has a strong presence acquiring a 16.3 percent stake in VinCommerce, Vietnam's biggest retailer, while investing $340 million in Crown X, the consumer retail platform of the country's Masan Group. In 2017, Hyundai Motor established Hyundai Tan Kong Manufacturing Vietnam, or HTMV, a joint venture with Tan Kong Group, and built a second HTMV manufacturing plant last year. Through this, Hyundai reclaimed its number one spot in sales in Vietnam, beating out Toyota, which had taken over the position last year. LG moved into Vietnam in 1995 and now owns 12 incorporated firms in the country, accounting for 3 percent of Vietnam's GDP. Now, the construction and cosmetic industries have begun seeking more opportunities in Vietnam. Teo ENC is planning to sign MOUs with Vietnamese companies to further its business reach, separate from the planned Korean-style city project called Star Lake City. And Colmar Korea, a pharmaceutical preparation manufacturing company, plans to expand its business into cosmetics in Vietnam, where it currently sells health supplements. Meanwhile, South Korea's largest trade surplus was with Vietnam last year, according to the Trade Ministry, recording over $34.2 billion. This was the first time Vietnam earned this title following the expansion of bilateral investment in 2022, celebrating 30 years of South Korea-Vietnam diplomatic relations. Lee Dae-hyun, Arirang News.